morning this is Gracie Opulenta and I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle you can find out a lot more about me on gracieopulenta.com Robetta Camerino wow what a beautiful woman she was born in Venice in 1920 before the war Second World War, she had to flee to Switzerland. And her last and favourite song um, was called Rab Roberta, Smoke in Her Eyes. So that was her last dance in Italy and then she went to Switzerland. And throughout the war in Switzerland, she was craving Venice all the time. And she came up with an engineering idea of um, of making a handbag. But what's so special about this handbag? What did she pioneer? That to this day Prada and Bonetta Venega have adopted the same concept. What is so special about this bag? That she would cry because brands copied her. And Coco Chanel said... You should be stop crying when they stop copying you. What is so beautiful about it? So after the war, um, Juliana, which is her name, came back. And because she was born in Venice, grew up in Venice, she decided um, to save the artisans of Italy. How could uh, Italy, you know, rebuild after the war? So all this leather, all this woven leather, all the clasps, the hardware, the metal is exactly from the gondola in Venice. It's exactly the same skill to make a gondola. The products are high end. A gondola, I, if I can remember, cost around three to four hundred thousand euros to make. So after the war, she decided to um, name the bag after Roberta, the, f um, the film and the song Smoke in Her Eyes, as a memory of leaving Italy before the war to flee to Venice. And Camarino is the surname of her husband. So that's where the brand label came from. When she returned to Venice, she noticed that, you know, Italy had to rebuild and she pioneered the gondola bag. I do not know why she didn't call it the gondola mozza, the bag from the gondola. So all this copper metal hardware is the same material used to make a gondola. The leather and the technique is exactly the same as a gondola. Um, in gracieopulanza.com, put in Venice and you'll see the gondola. In this article, dedicated article, he'll say also the gondola. This is a gondola bag. Isn't it beautiful? Now, the woven leather that she pioneered and was famous for is copied by Bonetta Ventega. And um, they, to this day, got copied her. She pioneered this, pioneered this, so they are a brand that DNA is founded on the Roberta Caminero um, weaving of the leather. Prada then copied the mechanisms, the class mechanisms here for their bags, but um, Juliana from Venice, born in 1920, brand bag name Roberta Camarino is the woman that pioneered the concept. This bag is of the finest of quality. This is rare. This is niche. This represents my heart, my passion, DNA for artisans. That's why I work for artisans that don't that used to formerly work with Gucci, Salvatore, Ferragamo. I will be getting those bags out and you can see why I do this. Priceless, timeless, 
just beautiful. I mean, no one in Italy is going to be walking around with a bag like this. Now, she also pioneered a bag um, from beautiful velvet fabric and was endorsed by Grace Kelly from Monaco and Jackie Kennedy. And the reason why the... Um, um, Americans loved her so much, they had the money and they commissioned her over. So she really exploded in America. Hence, Grace Kelly was an actress at the time and Jackie Kennedy. So these bags were, were endorsed, paid for, commissioned by very, very powerful women in America. Grace Kelly, even Elizabeth Taylor... So American women, because they understood the quality. They, un they loved Juliana. Now, that's the name of the designer of this bag. They loved her. She was a very classy lady. She also, you know, saved the artisans of Venice of Italy because she got them to make high-end bags. I mean, I don't... Um, I don't know why the family sold all the bags. There was a dedicated museum in Venice, why they would do such a thing. They really, you know, this is the the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton, the Coco Chanel, the Hermes of Italy. And tragically, you'll only find these bags on eBay or Vestiaire or vintage places in Amsterdam here in Italy, look at Tuscany. You know, they're not commonly found. Um, and a lot of people don't even know who she was and don't understand the history of it. So, Roberta Camerino spoke to me in when I first bought her first bag in Venice. How beautiful is that? I didn't even know who she was. So, during lockdown of 2020, I bought her first bag which is in storage and just divine. Now, some of her bags were um, without label, so she just prints her name here. This one hasn't, but a lot of her bags were copied. So I don't really know. I believe that this is the original, but if it isn't, the person that copied her, because many did, have just done exactly what she's about the gondola clasps the gondola leather the woven leather handles I mean there's no way of me unless I come into an expert that can tell me this is original I'm a hundred percent sure that it is I'm going to show but again she cried and she cried Juliana cried Coco Chanel a daughter and said stop crying only stop crying when they stop copying you. And um, Bontega copied the the weave leather concept. So when you go in there to this day, thank Juliana for that. And Prada copied the clasp here, the metal hardware. Thank Juliana for that. And then, of course, you know, um, a lot of brands adopted the same concept this is copper and i'm going to get it polished i got to read up on that i'm in tuscany the land the world of leather so i'm going to get this all nicely polished up isn't it beautiful now this bag smells vintage so i put tuscan um fragrances home fragrances made here in tuscany and that just gives it a beautiful smell the quality of the, the zip is just incredible. This is personal style. This is a skill. So, you know, I don't copy trends. I predict trends. And I am my own stylist. I wear my own stuff. And so many people come up to me when I do that. That has been really the story of my life. And if you keep listening to the latest videos. I really don't know why since I started the blog 12 years ago why I never made it clear that 
personal style, individual style, like Iris Atfield, is a skill, it's a, ta a talent, it's a passion. And if you have a look on my YouTube on Gracie Opulanza, just put Made in Italy and you'll see the handbags that I have commissioned and the artisans that I've worked with, like Roberta. We understand the talent, the skill. We understand how hard it is to get to market. Why did Juliana explode? Because she was loved by Grace Kelly and Jackie Kennedy. Powerful, powerful women. And if I have to, I am bringing these bags back out of the grave. Back into beautiful, beautiful... Um, 2023 now the tragic is I've gone into a shop here in Looker and I have to be sensitive they're selling their, uh, a brand I'm not sure who's bought it and they're flogging off the name Roberta Camarino made in China it's horrendous quality stay away from it so just sort these after on Vestier Contact me or scout for them in exclusive vintage shops. There's one in Amsterdam and there's many here in Italy because these are worth investing in. Isn't that just adorable? The gondola leather, the gondola copper, the gondola hardware. I mean, it's just stunning. It's heavy, it's quality, it's style. Coco Chanel loved Juliana. Roberta Camerino. Have a look in my blog. Look at the link on the YouTube. Sharing is caring. I mean, isn't this just adorable? And I'm going to give you another one now. Let me keep. And uh, where is it? Right here. Here's the next one. Now... Her first and originals with this particular clasp. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is cloth. So she's weaved this with cloth. Can you not see? Veneta, Bontega Veneta. Can you see how they've copied this? Again, the heavy gondola uh, frame that Nat Prada copied. The This is just adorable this is what she started the hardware the copper hardware from the gondola but she also commissioned vintage velvet fabrics because after the war you know to get air, your hands off on any fabric textile was very very difficult look at the work at this look at the quality of it the the um this uh, didn't come. I found this in the market. Again, it doesn't have her name on it. So I'm not sure if it's the original because she got copied so much. But again, it's very vintage. I'm 100% these are hers because it normally you'd have Roberta Camarino on there. But she was famous. Juliana was famous for not doing that. But look at these. Aren't they just... Stunning. Look at the work in that. Look at the condition of that. I'm just going to go in the sunlight so you appreciate it more. Look at that. Look at the leather. Beautiful. Bought this here at a market. I'll polish up the brass. Look at that with the Dolce Cabana skirt and the Hermia scarf. Look, look, look. Unique style. Look, if you've got a passion for fashion, if you've got the skill of a stylist, really teach people how hard it is to put this together. And this Hermes vintage scarf, the Yves Saint Laurent 1980s, look at that. You can see it's vintage and that is my DNA. That's my passion. Oh, fast fashion is revolting and I've never been a fan of it. And I've got two daughters, so I teach them. But look at that. 
look at the work in that the gondola clasp and the frame Juliana pioneered that then copied by Prada then copied the bags were copied and she would go and cry to Coco Chanel who famously said Juliana you better stop crying when they stop copying you so that's something that's really spoken to me this week isn't that adorable now the handle um, here is gone but I'm in Italy I'm in Tuscany so I'm going to put my own what do you think I'm going to do I'm going to get someone an artisan here in Tuscany to weave me um, this look can you just see how it's going to work weave that on and there you are so oh my goodness it's a fabulous idea I can just take these bags in look at that and say can you weave me the handle and I'll go leather because it feels beautiful when you're holding the bag I'm not going to go cloth this deserves to be revived this is upcycling this is sustainability this is unique 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 fashion this is fashion this is artisans this is what we've lost we've lost this so if you're a vintage lover and if a brand speaks to you so I said in the Yves Saint Laurent YouTube video I put up I find that brand in the most unlikely places and obviously Juliana during the pandemic spoke to me and I found the first bag and then this bag and I went to Amsterdam and the brand kept coming at me Juliana thank you because you know my heart is for Made in Italy 100% to support the artisans of today, of tomorrow, of the future, of the past. I speak to artisans here Made in Italy. They're upset, they're frustrated because people just go to fast fashion. The mass production of Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermès, Versace, Dolce Cabana. This is irreplaceable. This has a story and this is personal style, niche. No one will go to a job interview. I'll drive a Ferrari. I'll go to a luxury hotel. Especially artists, creators. And they will love me for it. They do love me for it because they really appreciate my passion. It's a skill. Not everyone can do this. Not everyone can put this together I mean look at this this is my tablecloth look could turn this let's sew this into a skirt and I really truly believe you know I do this because the clothes that I wear motivate me they are my wellness they are my mental health they are my DNA it is what I God gave me from a very young child I can't help myself you can come and give me the best um uh I don't know what could you give me the best linen I'm trying to give an example that's opposite to me could take me to an Arsenal football match but give me something vintage 100 years old 200 years old 300 years old and I will just play in the in fact if we're talking about 100 years old when I was in Venice I was the very first tourist in Venice during the lockdown I came across this 100 years old look at this I'm going to frame this metal look at the lace this is artisans this is history this is museum pieces this is Iris Apfel am I the Iris Apfel of today look at this look at the quality look at this the silk the lace look I can um you know that's cardboard that's history I don't know who that belonged to and I found it in Venice 100 years old from the cellar look at it and I thought that's got to be me have a look at this 
artisans of the past teaching this skill of creators of the future. AI is coming, people. We're going to have plenty, plenty of time to create. If you're an artist, keep hanging in there. Contact me. I, you know, this is skill. These are, these are Picasso pieces. Roberta Camerino was the Picasso, the Leonardo da Vinci, um, Michelangelo of the handbags in Italy and no one talks about it. That's a beautiful way. That is what she was. She came back from Switzerland after the war. Italy had to rebuild. She's sitting in her gondola, born in Venice and thought, how can I get the movement of handbags back into circulation? And she created the gondola bag. That's what I call it. The weaving she pioneered, the clasps, the copper, the leather is exactly from the gondola in Venice. When you sit in a gondola, just remember Roberta Camerino and Grace Kelly, Jackie Kennedy made her famous. They loved her bags. She used vintage velvet cloth to make more bags, which Grace Kelly loved, using the same technique of the clasp that Prada uses today. She saved the artisans all from the gondola, copper, and the weaving, the woven fabric, the woven leather that Pontega claim as their own today. They copied her. Coco Chanel said, stop crying, Juliana. Stop crying. You should be crying when they stop copying you. She was the Michelangelo, the Leonardo da Vinci, the Picasso of saving artisans in Italy, in Venice, after the war. What a legacy. And then her shameless family sold the dedicated museum in Venice and these bags are all dispersed all over the world. I was the first a tourist in July, June of 2020 in the pandemic in Venice. It is no coincidence that I was the first tourist to come into Venice. It is no coincidence that in Venice I found her bag, Roberta Camarino. Never heard of the woman. The bag that I found is in storage. I'm going to get it out. She spoke to me. She said, Gracie Opilanza, you have a passion, a respect, and I, a craft and a skill to market the artisans of the past to the artisans of the future. And then, again in lockdown, 100-year-old bag made in Venice, silk, lace, look at it. I'm going to look at that. Look at the history and when you're in Venice, because I've reviewed palazzos and that, you'll see all these fraying. That's history. And I will frame this. I will frame it. I will get a local artisans here in Tuscany, or maybe I have to go back to Venice and say, what can we do with this particular bag? Because this is a Michelangelo. This is a Leonardo da Vinci. This is a Picasso piece that I could just put on my blank wall here in Tuscany. It is my heart and soul, people, that you have to understand that the fashion of today is really horrible. People don't have the time to find their personal style. They don't have the time to find their, their DNA. This is my DNA, Roberta Di Camerino. She came from the depth of the Venice canals and spoke to me. And what a beautiful story, right? So I'm walking the streets of Venice, dead quiet, no one around. This gorgeous Italian lady opens her vintage store and I gravitate to the very first Roberta Camarino Giuliana bag. And I looked at it and the lady told me the history. Never heard of her. And I thought, I have to buy 
the bag and the bag I bought is all leather it's all leather like this it's not in the most amazing condition but I had to buy that bag because that's where it began then I went to Amsterdam and there was the bag and then I came back to Luca and these are the two pieces that I found in the Luca market so Lucchese a Luca Tuscany saying Gracie 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 Opilanza Juliana is saying I saved these artisans after the war of Italy the brand that's bought my brand now is horrible it is not who I represent Gracie Opilanza please put my bags out there for the world to embrace and if it's good enough for Grace Kelly of Monaco if it's good enough for Jackie Kennedy the president the, the white lady then it's brilliant to me powerful inspiring pioneering women that's me too and then we've got this beautiful 100 year old bag from venice that a lady didn't want didn't know what to do with it the, the da vinci's the the michangelo's the picasso and that fell into my beautiful hands because that's what beautiful craftsmanship does even though they're materials, and they, but they're made by people. These are people's heart, tears, soul, frustration. I understand that. I've owned many businesses. These are people saying, look, Gracie, you understand what it takes to make this bag. You understand what it means for it to be upcycled, to be reused, turned into a piece. Gracie, you understand the tears, the frustration, the bankruptcy, on this case, fleeing a country that you were born in so you wouldn't get killed. You understand. You know, these are the Elon Musks of yesterday. These are the Apple of yesterday. AI is here. And it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of skill away. And Italy, the beautiful of Italy, is the manufacturing still alive. The craftsmanship still alive. And we need to preserve it. This is the Da Vinci's, the Leonardo's, Michangelo's, the Picasso's of the past that have to move forward, teaching our youth of the future. And what a beautiful story. All made in Venice. First woman, I was the first woman during the pandemic to step foot in Venice. I 100% was. So what a legacy for me. And trust me, trust me, trust me. There's more to come. Thank you, Juliana.